Every day, countless photos are taken with iPhones. It's insane. And one of the best ways to get better photos is by getting an additional lens. We have the new Allo Clip for iPhone X, which offers three different lenses in a portable design. Welcome everyone, it is Andrew here for Apple Insider, and we're going to take a look at a great way to get some better photos. This Allo Clip box kit includes a fisheye lens, a wide angle lens, and a 15x macro lens, which covers most of the bases that people are going to have to use lenses for. It does not include a telelens, but the phone already kind of has a built-in 2x telelens already, so there may not necessarily be a need for some additional zoomage. Popping open the box, you're going to find the actual lens kit itself, the little portable clip, and then the actual mounting system to attach it to the phone. Unlike others that use some awkwardly positioned little banana clip to go on the top, or some weird cases that you have to buy additionally, this is all an integrated solution, which makes it really easy just to open up and get going. I really like the idea of the portability here. You don't have to write a case or anything else, it literally just clips onto this guy and then hooks onto your keychain. That said, it is a little bit large and kind of hard to fit in your pocket. It seems more akin to clipping onto the side of your backpack than actually going into pocket with your keys, but I do like the thought here and it makes it an uh, easy place to keep hold of when it's not actually attached to your phone. Pinching on that little corner part separates the two halves and allows you to remove it from the clip or hook it onto your phone. Each of the lenses is removable, allowing you to alternate between the sides of the lens. Whether you want the wide angle or you want the fisheye, you can easily just pop them out and swap the sides. While this is easy to clip onto the phone, it's a little bit hard to tell one which way the orientation goes. It definitely looks like it go either way, but there is a correct orientation that fits a little bit better with the actual camera bump on the rear of the phone. It just takes a little bit of getting used to knowing which side is which, and then once you get it on there, making sure it actually stays in place and is correctly aligned. Each lens comes with their own lens cap, which is going to protect that glass from ever getting scratched or anything when they're on your phone. And again, really easy just to alternate sides. You push in the little button on the side, they come out, and you can easily switch them around. But it doesn't just work on the two lenses in the back, it actually works on the front-facing shooter as well. Things like FaceTime calls can be a lot more inclusive because you don't have just yourself in the frame, you can actually get a whole lot more people. And when we tested out with the wide angle lens at least, there wasn't any crazy distortion going on. It actually looked really natural. Here I am right on my selfie camera, throw that on, and now there's a whole lot more space, a lot more room to get more people in those selfies. Using the clip to attach it to your phone is both a good thing and a bad thing. On the plus side, you don't have to use any special case to actually use the lens. But on the downside, especially for iPhone 10 owners, it's going to cover, cover up the entire true depth camera system, making Face ID completely not work. Here you can see my phone's locked. I'm going to slide on the Allo clip and try to open my phone. No go. I'm going to have to enter in my passcode. So if you have your lens on first, makes Face ID does not work. It can be a little bit annoying if you have your actual camera on your phone. It's also really hard to get into control center from the iPhone 10 when the lens is attached. You'll notice there's a W and a T, and that stands for the wide angle or tele lens because these alloclip clip lenses can go on either one. You simply take them off and rotate them around so it covers whichever lens you'd want to use. Most of the time, you're probably going to stick with that wide angle lens, but if you ever want to get a fisheye effect on a slightly closer subject, you can turn it around. Though, you're going to need a different app to do it because just the stock camera app will not allow you to easily toggle between the two. It actually just kind of tries to use both at the same time and you end up with a lot of blackness on the screen. To use the macro lens, you actually just remove the top half of the super wide angle fisheye. Simply unscrews and you're good to go, reviewing a separate lens right below it. Here you can see we've got the fisheye on. There's a drastic difference between looking at the table with just the stock wide angle lens and then throwing the fisheye on top of that. But of course, you notice there's some severe clipping around the corners, giving you a much more rounded aesthetic to the photo. Again, you can see on versus off. Here we're going to look at the wide angle lens. You can see these pair of Marshall speakers I have sitting on my desk. And when I put that lens on, there's a lot more wide angle to that space. It can be more impressive once we get outside and get some more landscape style photos. While there is specifically that macro lens that allows you to get really, really close with 15x enhancement there, you can still use the fisheye and get really close to objects too. It's kind of cool. We could take this super vintage Coca-Cola truck and get really close to that label. And it gives it a really neat look, though of course again, it still has that clipping around the edges. We threw the Allo clip lenses onto our iPhone 10 and we went outside to shoot some more photos to see how it fared. So here you can see a wide collection of different photos that we've taken with 
it's all sorts of different lenses, the wide angle, using the stock cameras, the macro lenses. There's just a lot you can do with it. Overall, we were pretty impressed. Everything was really, really clear and it's definitely some high quality glass. On some of the cheaper wide angle lenses, you can start to notice some curling or some vignetting around the edges and we really didn't notice that at all. Of course, we saw that hugely with the fisheye lens, but we did not notice it with the actual regular wide angle lens, which is definitely an improvement over some of the other Olo clips that we've even looked at. When it comes down to it though, the Olo clip lens is still kind of a budget system. It works exceptionally well and for the price point, it's pretty amazing. You get three lenses all in an integrated solution. Really nice, but if you're looking for something more premium, there are definitely other options, though they're going to run you a whole lot more money. For instance, Sandmark, they make some really nice lenses, they're really heavy and a lot bigger. You can just see how much extra glass is going into these lenses versus the ones from Oloclip. There's nothing wrong with what Oloclip is doing. They're bringing these really high-end techniques into a really tiny kit that anyone can pick up with an affordable price point. But for pro photographers, they still may want to look elsewhere. Aside from Sandmark, another great option is the Moment lenses. They're really similar, but just like Sandmark, they have to use some other mounting mechanism other than the nicely integrated solution that we saw from Oloclip. In fact, both Sandmark and Moment require special cases to go on your phone to use them to mount to the lenses. A lot of people are really not going to like that, but on the other hand, using the Olo Clip one, you can't use a case at all. There's something going to be too thick for the actual clip to go over the phone. What I really like about Moment, by the way, while we're talking about them, is their fisheye lens is amazing. You're not going to get any of that vignetting that you saw when we are actually using the fisheye lens from Oloclip. So if that's a lens you like and you really hate that rounded off look, you might want to look at other options. But for most budget photographers out there or any beginners, the Oloclip is a great place to start. This kit includes those three lenses, the super wide lens, the fisheye lens, and the macro lens the mounting solution that doesn't require any extra cases or attachments than what is included in the box. It works on both the wide angle and the tele lens, and it'll even work on that front facing shooter for taking selfies or during FaceTime calls. If you want to pick one of these up for yourself or for a friend, you can find the link below in the comments as well as in the description. And I want to hear what you guys think. Do you guys like this new integrated solution? Be sure to let us know as well down below in the comments and let's get this discussion going. If you enjoyed this video, like it and hit that subscribe button. Also, check out our price guide, which makes it extremely easy to find the best deals on Apple products updated daily. Be sure to follow us on social media and we'll see you in the next video.